Hello, Retroburn here, aka Odamus, creator of Impacor.blogspot.com, and this is part 8 of our Let's Play XCOM HD series. So, nothing to do, we've already customized everything, so we're going to go to Mission Control and scan for alien activity. Excavation complete. used by the aliens to manage energy consumption and heat dissipation in their weapons. We've advanced our existing laser-based weaponry designs well beyond what we had previously envisioned. Remarkably, we now have a working prototype that is both capable and portable, a development that had at one time been considered impossible. Although we've had to reduce the size of the focusing lenses in the process, we've found very little decrease in the overall output or accuracy of the weapon during initial testing. So we can now manufacture laser pistols and laser rifles. Cool. Let's research the floater because um, its technology is its means to uh, with which to hover. It's very much interesting. Also, I'm sure you can make the connection yourself. We've designated this particular specimen as a floater. The research team is continuing in its efforts to determine how the aliens prevented the organic tissue from rejecting the mechanical components, as they seem to work in perfect harmony with one another. Okay, three days, nice. with the Phoenix, Phoenix cannon really didn't take out the missiles. Okay, so only one weapon at a time. Dang. Okay, going back to mission control and scanning for alien activity. That was fast. As frightening and vicious as this species is on the battlefield, it is hard not to feel sympathy for them in this section table. The specimen has been subjected to extensive biomedical modifications, some of which were undoubtedly quite painful and intrusive. There's always time for a lubricant! The combination of living tissue and mechanical components gives the creature the look of a cruel, half-finished experiment. Most of the subject's internal organs have been replaced with a mechanical life support system that mimics their original functionality, or rather, it's just like the original floater in the first XCOM. A rather conventional propulsion system has been grafted into the subject's torso, although the power cells supplying the necessary thrust are extremely advanced by their own standards. I have removed a number of neural implants from, from the subject that appear to aid in the evasion of incoming projectile fire. So what do these uh, units have? Uh, Agility. The engineering team has already suggested several ways in which this technology might benefit for might benefit our soldiers. You may find additional information about the combat capabilities of these species 
by targeting one in the field using the unit analysis field. Ah, so they do have this <laughs> plus agility thing because I've unlocked the uh, defense matrix dodge available for manufacturing. Interesting discoveries based on the autopsy results of the alien specimen you brought back. The research team is now referring to this particular variation as a sectoid, based on the unusual structure of its internal organs, which we believe to be the product of genetic manipulation. As we've seen in the field, this species also seems to harbor some sort of telepathic ability. to deploy. Our AO is within the continental United States. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Okay, launching mission. Getting sick of the... This is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting right, further orders. Maps. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown.
the thing about this new XCOM game is with the other XCOM game I think if I I, I mean oh if I, if I dash here this is another level of elevation it should but I don't know because sometimes I can fire at aliens even though they're behind a bus or behind a car sort of very unrealistic Take that. Down. 
ass. Oh, damn it. They're repositioning oh, on us. Dash here, we're going to do the other assault.
please hit. Yes. Please hit. Sorry about that. The video, the recording software skipped. Nice. We've got only one. Take it, you've got a carapace armor. I am so killing you. I am so fucking killing you with a rocket right now. Goodbye. Alright. in the water here. Operational objectives completed.
Wait, um... So I am playing Alien Containment. Oh wait, at least we don't have any workshops. Five engineers to our staff. I think this is more important right now, though. grenades so that he can take advantage of his new uh, skill. sense in losing bets to enemy fire be just because you've given uh, your improved equipment to rookie to the rookies
Oh, he's already a captain. Okay, so this has been Retroburn, aka Odama's Creator from Accord at blogspot.com, and you've just seen part 8 of our Let's Play XCOM HD series. So, see you in part 9, guys, where we really have to take care of um, what's unfolding in Asia. So, see you around, stay cool, please like and subscribe if you like the series. Happy gaming!